awesome. So hello there, and this is King of China, always trying it. And this is the co-op series, I guess. And um, yeah, we're here with Epic Naya today. Hi, are you there? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, my game was going weird and I just heard lots of tapping and then you didn't say anything. I was like, eh? I've had it in the fire arena where I just fall through the floor into nothingness for a very, very long time. <laughs> yeah, it's happened to me that it's like for like five minutes, you know, going in like just, or it goes into like a black screen. Yeah. Like, I know I come to expect some weird stuff in betas, but man, that was definitely one of the top weird stuff for sure. If I'm right yeah, now... Seeing everything all over again, I'm like, this <laughs> yeah. is just, yeah. You know, the cutting time by reusing assets. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but but it looks pretty. It looks good seeing all this stuff again with better graphics. Hmm, I agree. Do you think, do you agree that this play is very similar? I don't know if you've played it, but have you played Resident Evil, like any of the series? I am sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was going to say, have you ever played any of the Resident Evil series? Yes, for the Xbox, yes. Oh, which one? I believe it was six. Six. Is yeah, that the one with Leon? Yeah. Ah. So it probably doesn't play like I think it plays more like five because six is more flexible. You get to roll around and do stuff in six. Like you get to dodge better. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's kind of, there's something that I was I don't remember what I was telling earlier. Um, they're also playing the beta. That this feels more like a console game than it does a mobile game. More, that's what's going to melt people's phones, though, because it's trying to perform like that. Yeah. But if they can pull it off, that would be cool. But I feel like they should be able to, since it's only four-player. It's not, you've got, like, 20, 30 people on a zone, you know, like Life After, where you can have that, or, like, in the uh, camp. Question. Did you mark it? Um, I did. Did you mark yours? No, I didn't. Let me go back. Oh, <laughs> Because there's no super mission here, because I think explore mode doesn't give you super missions. I think it is just about yeah. yeah. yeah so I'm just going to. So I'm just going to go to the danger. I'm just going to go to the one with the exclamation mark saying it's dangerous. I like dangerous areas. <laughs> Anything that can kill me, I'm in. Well, I'm interested. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me catch up to you because I oh. see them following you already. Oh, oh, you've been captured. Yeah, it's someone that was following you. I was really excited at the start when it showed something like that because I thought, oh my god, is it going to have a bit of a. Uh... Is it not The Last of Us? What's it called? Left for Dead system where if you're trapped, someone has to come and free you or something. Yeah, no, it's just the same, you know struggle to get free and then even if you leave it it doesn't really matter like you leave it for a second you lose a little bit of health but it just pushes off yourself you don't get bit or anything by if you don't press nothing yeah. which is a shame i was just like come on at least bite me or something or unless if your health is low enough maybe they do bite and then you're what you're infected that'd be cool but that's really gonna happen oh a blind one Funny enough, blind ones are the most troubled minions I have trouble with. I kid you not. Yeah. Well, elite ones, I mean. Here you go. There's the box right here. Oh, you found it. Okay. Whoops. So if we're in a higher map, does that mean we can find a Uzi now? Or a submachine gun? I know, like, I love it. 
fifteen, we did unlock the submachine gun. Hmm. So. Effectively, we should be able to find it. Yeah, we should, but I don't think because I know they gave they basically gave us like a pistol and and the shotgun at the beginning. I don't think they're gonna keep doing that. I think they're gonna you know like. Make us make it. Change it up a bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was nice to I find the guns again, that. but uh, yeah, I think that's the problem. If you can make it instead of finding it, it becomes a bit pointless a little bit as well. Do you want to lead the way? I marked the other one. Yeah, I marked the other one. Okay. Um, I don't know if you noticed the, the sturdiness. Yeah. Like, you can just repair things. Oh. I haven't noticed that it costs things. No, it costs like money and like some materials, but other than that, it's it's pretty fine. Like you don't really need to worry about durability in this, it seems. Yeah. So far, anyways. And I feel like these guns <laughs> are so easy to get to. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they just need to do something with the guns, though. Like, because if you can only find grey guns, then it doesn't feel so special anymore. You be like, oh, I might as well just make it again. Do you know what I mean? So. No, but it, but I think that goes against one of the biggest complaints in LA that we have to keep buying or making guns over and over and over again. Oh, yeah, this true. time around, even if it's gray, you're basically guaranteed a gun. Hmm. True. I was hoping, like, if we go in the world though, like, we could find rarity guns or something. We could find blue, maybe purple. But legendary, you have to always make maybe something like that. Yeah, I think it is that way that you have to make it. Hmm. Like it gives it gives you a reason to go out exploring to get materials. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like they can't, you know, just give us everything at at the beginning. Times, you know what I mean? But see, yeah. that's you know when you told me like cause you started playing this before me and you said it's pretty easy, it is. And part of my problem is is that it's got that very spooky slow start type thing. But then because there's ammo boxes, you, you just feel like you've got limitless ammo now. Man. If you've got limitless yeah. ammo and Which you can kill like, everything. You know, it. <laughs> once you go, it's not limitless. Especially like in the chambers, it's not like each ammo box that they put out. Like has a certain limit. Uh, what happened? Oh. Okay. Uh, this zone's not done yet, is it? Okay, so I need to. There's a box somewhere around here or something. It's saying. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Oh, it's just right there, like in the open. <laughs> I didn't see it. Did you get that reward notice when we what we just did then? Yeah. Okay. Good. So I don't want to feel like I'm just taking all the stuff. If you ever need anything, I'll just drop it. Which is another good thing as well. I can drop you a gun. That's look, look. There, there are other people. Oh, in explore mode, yeah. You can see other people and yeah. I can go up to them and invite them into our party and stuff. So, But this is the only mode it does it, though. Yeah. Okay. It's telling us for us to leave. Oh, is it time? All right. Let's go. Yeah. I want to know so badly what happens if you don't evacuate. I don't, I'm assuming you just die, but I would love it to be something more interesting than that. Because the fog is supposed to come in, right? Yeah, it's and, supposed to. Yeah, and then there's a, and then obviously in the story that there's a guy that kind of runs off and tries to survive the fog. So I was wondering if there was a thing where you had to just survive or something and it was just harder and everything was stronger until evacuation reopened up that'd be dope i'd really love that and then obviously there's only certain things you can find in that situation as well but i'm gonna have to find that out by waiting 45 minutes and having nothing on me just in case you lose everything if you do uh don't evacuate yeah because i don't know if it's like other games that you die and you drop everything i know some of them like they dug like certain like percentage but mm. there's other games i don't remember which ones that actually when you die you drop everything lost light <laughs> uh, i think so 
Yeah, Thank Lost you. Light, you gotcha. lose everything. It's horrible. I just I tried to get into that, but I just couldn't. I was actually talking to JCF about it the other day, and I was just like, nah, I'm good, man. I just I can't get into Lost Light anymore. Hurts my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play games like that uh, because it makes me feel like my progress is like just can just disappear at any moment, and I mm. don't like that feeling. Same, but then it's not so bad because you can't get raided. Because there's other games like Frostboard, <laughs> you, you can lose all your stuff out of the world, and then if you're the odd or whatever, then you get your whole flipping months or years worth of stuff just all taken in one day. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. Is seeing you guys epically lose in Frostborn is probably the main reason why I never wanted to play Frostborn to begin with. Yeah. Because you can't deny my first videos that I saw of you were you raging because of Frostborn. Yeah, it just it, it put me in a weird state, man. Like it was a good game, it was doing really well on my channel at the time, but oh my god. I just I can't go back. I'm good now. Never again. <laughs> never again oh okay so uh that's the first part of that exploring done so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope to see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.